Halloween is approaching, Poundland has its spooky stock in, so I thought, let's buy some of the items. And one of the items was this set of spooky lights, which you get eight lights, and it supposedly plays spooky sounds and has flashing lights. Let's investigate. So uh, let's uh, see if I can open this. And we'll see. Oh, there's a button. Nothing. Ooh, that's a big box. Is that all batteries? It's got a screw holding the battery compartment shut. Let's get that out. I should get these all out. I should just pull them all out right now. There we go. The lights themselves are just one piece moulded and they've sort of sprayed the top silver and they've got a sort of... You know, the best way to describe that is nicotine staining. Isn't that really what it's kind of meant to represent? Let's uh, put some batteries in. If I've got the correct batteries for this, it's just double A's. That's fine. I have double A's. Double A's. There's double A's. Is this going to burst into life as soon as I put these in? Mm. So what we've got here, we've got three positions in the switch. It's got demo. Is that the button or is it? Oh. Oh, that's quite annoying. These are strobing. And they're cold white. Oh, that's quite annoying. Right, how'd you stop it? Okay, so it's got demo, it's got light. Oh, that they're just strobing now on their own. And they really are. Hold on, I'm just gonna pull one of these LEDs out if I can. It's just strobing continually. I wonder if there's a static mode. Um, and the other one is sensor. Oh. Okay, so I'm guessing this... Not the nicest of sounds, I have to say, but how... I'm guessing... Let's turn that off. I'm guessing the sensor is... Hold on, I'm just going to shine a light down here and just see if I can see anything. I'm guessing the sensor may be based on the optical... Oh, let's open it. It's the best bet, isn't it? So it does seem to have a few sound effects. I wonder what other ones it's got before I open this. Let's... Uh, So I roar. I'm pressing the speaker onto the table so it doesn't make too much noise. Right, okay. I presume that's a squeaky door. Jacob's Ladder. With evil laughter. I think we've had most of the sound effects now. Right, that's enough. Let's get it open. If anything, if you don't care much the noises and the flickering of the LEDs, which I have to say is actually quite annoying. They really are strobing and flickering all the time. Uh, if anything, I'd say that what you could do here is perhaps you could just uh, pull the LEDs out of the end of these caps and just use the caps on their own. So what we got in here... Is that a piezoelectric transducer? A piezoelectric transducer is what I should be saying, isn't it? If it is, the sound quality was actually surprisingly good for piezo. Normally I'd expect that to be quite tinny. It is. So we've got the sound... Oh no! There's a speaker there. What's that for then? It must be noise detection. Okay. So can I get this out? Let's uh, dig all these screws out of here. It is typically based on what looks like a cob chip on board. Oh, yeah, there's really not much to it, is there? It's got a little button circuit board down here, which is, is it glued in or jammed in? 
jammed in. So it's a little button, but it's at the very basic. It's just the tracks. It's got a circuit board which has a blob on it that does everything. But there's a couple of transistors over here. One of them, I'm guessing, uh, one of them is driving the LEDs. And is the other one perhaps driving the speaker? Or is the speaker being driven directly? The green wires are coming on. The green wires are going straight to the chip. Um, and that transistor down, that transistor there, looks as though uh, that looks like it's part of the sensing circuit. This is an audio sensing circuit. When it detects noise or vibration, um, that triggers it. Let's say I turn it back to, at the risk, this is going to be really noisy. I'll just apologise in advance for that. Let's turn it back to sense mode. There is no volume control. Is it tap sensitive? It is. It is detecting a sound using a piezoelectric disc. So that's interesting that they've chosen that approach. I thought it was an optical sensor, but it's going to respond to... If you put this on a door and someone knocked the door or something like that, it would trigger it, or if you, it just heard a noise in the vicinity. The piezoelectric disc uh, generates a tiny... When it's flexed by the sound waves, it generates a tiny little signal, which is then uh, amplified by a transistor and then used to trigger the chip. The speaker's quite big in there. The speaker might be quite useful. Fairly generic little speaker. Quite Actually, I say fairly generic little speaker. It's bigger than the average one. It looks quite neat. Uh, so, interesting, but I have to say, quite annoying. Maybe it's just because uh, uh, I'm not a kid really anymore. Not as such. Kid at heart. But the most appealing thing about these, I think for me, is these uh, grommets and the LEDs. It makes me think this could be converted to uh, just a string of interesting lights. One moment, I'm going to do that right now. That's kind of nicer. So if you decide that you don't like the sound effects and stuff like that, you can strip it apart and you can put an ordinary string of the warm white LEDs in and it gives them, well, it's actually looking a bit yellow on screen at the moment, but it gives them a sort of a goldeny white glow, this sort of very reminiscent of what lamps of that era and possible intensity as well, given how dim the early lamps used to be. But it's uh, it could uh, have function as a sort of extra capsule strings of light. So it is kind of salvageable. This is assuming you don't like it in its original form. I have to say it's novel, but you know, the novelty would wear off very, very quickly. It is quite loud and uh, repetitive. Um, so this is one of the items in Poundland that comes in about five pounds. So, uh, well, now you know the noises it makes and what it does and what it can be salvaged for. Just for the sake of completeness, let's take a look at the circuitry. We've got two transistors on the circuit board. One is for driving the LEDs, and the LEDs have a connection with positive via a small 10-ohm resistor, and then the string of parallel LEDs. The resistor's quite small, but I'm guessing the LEDs don't spend much time on because they are just strobing all the time. Then it's got the transistor down here that switches them, and its base is connected to the circuitry by a 1K resistor just to limit the current into the base. And when that means when the, the chip on the circuit board uh, sends a drive signal to this output, it turns the LEDs on. The other thing that is quite interesting is the way it detects the sound. It has that piezoelectric crystal in a little housing here, and it's got a very simple arrangement. If you can imagine that there's the input that when you push the button between the input and zero volts, it would trigger the unit. It's got a sort of pull-up resistor that's either inside or it's one of the... Cut. There's two external resistors uh, on this side that are just going into the the chip. It could be that one of those resistors is the pull-up, or it could be that it's just built into the chip itself. It's a weak pull-up. But um, it can get pulled down to actually emulate pressing the button by this transistor here, and the transistor is biased on very gently by this very high value resistor. So that just passes just enough current to make that transistor a bit more sensitive. It's just getting almost close to the point it's going to turn on. And the piezoelectric crystal here generates, when you make a noise, it, it generates a sort of positive and negative with respect to the zero volt rail signal. And that means that transistor will, if the noise is loud enough, it will turn on briefly as a series of spikes, and that is what triggers the input. 
So, um, interesting enough, still annoying. But uh, that's just me, you know, it's just not something I'd actually have myself. I think I think adults would get quite annoyed with it very quickly, but the kids would find it quite fun. However, it is, as I say, quite a quite useful resource for just these caps on their own. <laughs>